one and all. So the wagon's broken. Not really. She's got a bad distributor that's not sending sparks. Um, I was having somewhat of a lag issue. Like when I would push on the throttle, um, it wasn't actually doing anything. She was just kind of sitting there. And then occasionally I would just kind of pump it a little bit and push on it again. And she would start going again. So we were okay for a bit. Um, didn't realize. We thought it was because of my second hand um, throttle body. You guys can see that. It's not my second hand throttle body. It's the distributor again. Which is a brand new distributor about two months old. Um, so my lovely mechanic Brandon is heading home to get the other distributor that was throwing code where I didn't have VTEC before in my other videos because um, we haven't returned that one yet just to get this home because we're about five minutes away from home so I will keep you guys updated yay all right so that's the old distributor it's in fortunately it's still not starting and it's not throwing any code to let us know if anything's messed up it just won't start at all um, so we're going to go get the SUV our SUV to tow her by the traction bar to at least get her home and safe until we get the other distributor and hopefully that one can tell us what's going on or just works right away but that's where we are still stuck waiting for the SUV to get here to tow her and yeah I'll let you guys know how that goes okay at O'Reilly finally to get distributor hopefully this one works we'll see Okay, so O'Reilly Run was unsuccessful. They um, had some issue with the hub. I guess the hub showed that it was in stock and then they sent it. It was supposed to be here by four. Um, apparently nothing was sent on the afternoon truck. So we're gonna hopefully see if it got sent later and it's gonna be in tomorrow's morning run truck thing shipment. Um, so we will check back with you then. All right, so it is day two of the Civic being broken down. Well, actually, sorry, it's day three. Uh, yesterday was day two. Um, what happened yesterday, why we didn't get the distributor when we were supposed to, is I guess the hub in Arizona didn't actually have our distributor, Mr. TD68. Um, so they ordered it from Chicago. I believe they, the only two places in the U.S. was like Chicago and like Colorado or something like that or Denver I don't remember exactly um, but they ordered both just to be on the safe side and told me it'd be here earliest by this morning I just called just got off the phone it's not there uh, she apparently doesn't get there till 11 I called at 10 30 so <laughs> uh, screw me for being too early right anyways so hopefully it'll be here um, this afternoon or worst case scenario tomorrow not a big deal as you can see I have a spare vehicle so not a huge not a huge thing but uh, still an annoyance yeah but O'Reilly's definitely is doing their best for me obviously not sponsored by O'Reilly's um, but they're doing their best Steve is awesome so if you ever have to go to O'Reilly's and Rita Steve is where to go so yeah I'll keep you guys updated Okay, so quick update. I just picked up the new distributor from um, O'Reilly. They were really quick about it. They said it'd be here by 11. I think it's like 11.30 now um, by the time they called me and had it probably situated and um, figured out. Uh, so it was really awesome, quick and easy. I ran into a good friend of ours, Tiffany, um, who works at O'Reilly. Never dealt with her before, which is really weird. Um, but. Yeah, no, Tiffany was really awesome. She was super helpful, got me my distributor that I needed. So now it's time to go home and install it and hopefully have my wagon back on the road. We'll see. I'm actually hoping this is a short video this time because I really hope it's not a whole lot more issues with my wagon. But we'll see, we'll get the trooper back on the road. So um, yeah, let's go see what happens, I guess. Okay, so distributor's here. I just loosened this bolt which was not easy there's we only left two bolts on it because we knew we were gonna place it anyways and it was just gonna sit here so no point in putting all three bolts in but you do need all three for the distributor to stay good and it's got to be nice and snug which is why these were so tight by Brandon the mechanic okay so that's one one more to go we got 
unclip the hooks this it's that yeah oh my god why are these on here so okay maybe it's just this one they do not make these clips friendly That's for something else. Okay. The hell? Oh, there we go. That clips off. Put in this clip. Yeah, that's the hard thing about these clips is that. On. They're being held on really tight. Oh, wow. This clip doesn't want to let go. <laughs> First injury. Mm. Okay. So clips are off. Those are good. Right. Need some leverage. So I'm gonna get a bigger wrench. That's not gonna work like that. It's not gonna work like that either. if that loosened it or not. Don't think it did. Yeah, that's not working. I'm trying to think of how to get leverage. There we go. Now I got it. Some of you probably have obvious leverage techniques. I don't yet. I'm working on them, so that's why it looks so idiotic when I work on cars. That one's off. Oh, pfft, duh. You do have to unhook it from the spark plugs. <laughs> Alright, so three is up top, four is next to it, two is on bottom, one. Okay. So you kind of have to remember that firing order, otherwise it won't start, or it won't run right. So, three on top, unplug that, four is next to it, unplug that, and two, let's get one first, there we go, one's better, then two. Strip it out. Awesome. No. Brand new shiny distributor. You gotta make sure that you do put this these little tabs in line, otherwise you may not have compression at all. But you also have to Check. 
Yeah. You should know if it's right or not. If it, yep. The distributor goes pretty flush or does go flush. That's when you know it's pretty much right. All right, so this one went. No, oh, maybe it goes this way. Wait. There we go. That one's connected. And then, where are you at? This little guy connected to this one. Okay. Um, yes, firing order. So, what is this? Three. And four. And one. It's at the very bottom. I need three. And then two. All right. Should all be in, right? Gotta make sure they're pretty far in. They're as far as they go. Okay. So, we're going to get in now and see if it works. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys here while I try to get started. One start so I'll get back to you guys hopefully I mean the firing orders all correct they're all on pretty good everything's correct and in installation wise so maybe it's another faulty distributor or there's something else wrong with her so hopefully this doesn't go into day four <laughs> but um, yeah We'll see. Hello everybody, we're on day five, unfortunately. Um, so as you guys saw me install the distributor, it's fine. The distributor works fine, my installation was double checked, it's good. Uh, we checked to see if it's um, got spark by pulling one of the spark plugs and keeping the spark plug attached to it. Um, so it's got spark now, so that's working. But I guess the fuel, it's not going where it needs to go um when it first starts to crank so we're dropping the tank and making sure that the fuel pump is getting all the so we're gonna drop the tank hopefully not make a mess in the garage but um may need new fuel pump i'm not sure if it's the original fuel pump or not that's in it it's got 240,000 miles in it, so if it's the original, it's probably time it gave up. So hopefully it's an easy fix, but most likely fuel pump replacement. So, yeah. Okay, so we emptied a little bit of gas out of the fuel tank just to see. We wanted to make sure it actually has fuel in it. It was still gushing quite a bit even after that much came out, which I know doesn't seem like much. But, um... So then we're going to lower the fuel tank just a little bit, not all the way down, just enough so we can get to the fuel pump and test the voltage. Um, hopefully it does have voltage, which would mean that it's the fuel pump, and then we know what our issue is. Um, if not, we're going to have to look somewhere else within the car to see where the voltage is lost. So, yeah, that's what we're doing now. In case you didn't know, I am sponsored by the Grocery Get a Garage, or Triple G, the GGG. And on occasion, when there's a job that's way too difficult to explain or is not super duper easy, I have their lead mechanic that helps me, Mr. Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so, he's the one technically dropping the tank and probably will be the one checking the voltage on the fuel pump. 
but hopefully it's an easy job and I will maybe be able to give him a hand. So, yep. All right, so fuel pump ran at no voltage, so we're losing voltage somewhere within the car. Checking main relay next and seeing if that's where we're losing voltage, but it read basically just like that, which sucks. Maybe we don't have to replace the fuel pump, but we, we're not 100% positive if it is working properly or not. It's just not getting voltage, so we won't know that until we get voltage back to the fuel pump, and then we'll see if the fuel pump's working. But, yeah. Okay, so found out that the fuel pump obviously is not getting power, so we're checking the main relay to make sure the main relay is actually giving the power to the fuel pump rather than chasing down wires, um, discovered that it is not. So it's the main relay, relay is this little box, and then the white part is the connectors. But so the main relay is not giving the power to the fuel pump, so right now we're going to try and bypass the main relay to provide the power to the fuel pump. If it spits out the fuel line, fuel line thank you, that's what I was looking for. If it spits out fuel from the fuel line, then we meet, Then that's a guaranteed, okay, it's the main relay that's just not providing the power. If not, then, well, it did. So it's the main relay is the issue because it just squirted out. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it just squirted out from the fuel line some gas, and, and that's a telltale sign that now it has the proper voltage and the power to provide the gas that the engine needs to start up. So the main relay is the bad part. It's probably the original main relay for the car. Um, I don't know, again, what was changed and what's not. I'm gonna assume it's the main relay from the, the car when it was in 1991. Okay, so main relay we checked was, um, they had one at O'Reilly, but it actually is in the Phoenix hub. So it's gonna take a day or two to get it here or whatever. So we checked AutoZone, although we're not super huge fans of AutoZone. Um, for a few reasons, but AutoZone always has the parts I need where O'Reilly takes forever or lies about their quantities in their stock. So we're going to go to AutoZone. Hopefully it's at the place that he said it was, and hopefully we can get this car running. Um, still haven't put the fuel tank up yet, but just in case there's an issue with the fuel pump, might as well keep it down. So that's where we're going now. All right, so fuel tank is back up in the car. Straps all tight and everything. Fuel lines are hooked up. Uh, main relay, the brand new one, is also hooked up well, so we're going to see if she starts. So, we already primed it about three times before, make sure it was priming properly, basically making sure the fuel pump was doing its job. And then, let's see if it starts now. Yay! She's back! She definitely needs gas now. But she's back! Awesome. Well, so, that's great. So it only took four days, five days. Is today the fifth day? Yeah. Only took five days and to figure out that the distributor and my main relay both went out on me at the same exact time. But, good thing about that is that we didn't replace the distributor and then the main relay gave out a couple months later. Um, cause that normally happens. I usually will put a brand new part in and then it will cause something else to break. But this time it happened at the same time, which is awesome. Kind of sucked, but I'm glad we figured out what it was. So that wraps this video up since she's back on the road. So like, comment, subscribe, of course, please. And I will see you guys hopefully next time on the racetrack. As long as she's still running by then, but see you later.